everyone welcome back to my channel my name is stephanie or the thrifty native i will put my links over here or you can find them in the description box down below so today i kind of have like a more depressing video for you guys i'm in a reseller slump right now i don't want to resell anymore i'm not gonna stop reselling because i have inventory lots of inventory to sell and i don't really see myself doing anything else because i generally generally genuinely really enjoy reselling it's just man when their sales are down it really really takes a toll on you and especially when you see like all these other resellers making a lot more money than you you're not even like anywhere close to what they're making and it just really discourages you and i know there are a lot of factors that go into other resellers like location and you know they don't have kids or they just have better inventory in their area so but it's really hard to not compare yourself which I have always been prone to do that. I feel like a lot of people are prone to doing that. But I think I'm just going to take a step back for a little bit and really focus in on my mental health. And I'm going to start exercising more and eating better. Because <sighs> I've been a little depressed lately. And I'm not trying to like sob story you guys into like buy my stuff because I'm sad. No, that is not at all what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to give like a be open and honest. Like it's not all rainbows and sunshines when it comes to reselling because it is really hard. It's really, really hard. And with the state of the economy right now, like nobody is really buying much and they're very selective on what they are buying and unfortunately for me i don't really find what people want <laughs> clearly because uh, i'm not selling anything so i'm filming this on memorial day so monday and this week is my my son's last week of school so he'll be off so now it's going to be even more challenging to get reselling done so I think that's why I'm going to really take a step back this summer and you know focus on my family and my husband and my myself I'm not going to give up on reselling that's definitely not what's going to happen like I'm still going to list and you know do like the bare minimum I guess but I'm not gonna be depressed about not making sales because i was listing very consistently five items a day this month i've been very like consistent on that i've been keeping track and i still hardly make any sales so um i'm not gonna stop like going to garage sales or i might hit up the bins maybe once or twice this summer but yeah it's really hard finding some good inventory around me I did go to a thrift store this weekend. It's another like one of those little small church thrift stores that I recently discovered. <laughs> it's a newer one to me. Um, so now I have two church thrift stores that I can <laughs> kind of rotate in and out of. But they're not open every day. They're only open on like certain days of the week and for like a short amount of time. So I did find some stuff at this thrift store and I'm going to show you and then I'm going to show you some items that I also picked up at a garage sale that was just right around the corner for me. I did list some of the items already so I'm not going to really be able to show you a few of the items because one already sold and the other one is inventoried <laughs> but I haven't listed two items yet so I think I'm going to go ahead and show you those items and then I'm going to 
tell you what sold this weekend and pack and ship and yeah, that's kind of what this video is i still need to make a what sold in april video i'm just like i said not been motivated to really do much these days and i've been trying to get out a video one video per week but i've it's been a couple weeks hopefully with me changing up my eating and exercising habits it will help bring me into a better mood i've just been so very unpleasant to be around these days i want to go ahead and show you some items that i found at a local sale and thrift store but i have to grab one item so hold on so this i apologize for my hair i slept on wet hair and it's kind of wacky right now and i don't feel like putting makeup on because i don't want to this garage sale that was right down the street for me was having a 50 percent off sale i found two pairs of shoes um some beer thing that maybe i'll be able to pop up some pictures for you but i found a beer mini beer keg and some empty beer kegs like you can put your own beer in there i don't know how it all works but <laughs> i don't drink beer and they had that for 40 dollars, so it was half off so i i did buy it for 20 dollars, which probably was a mistake <laughs> but i bought it anyways so i do have some of that listed i just have to list the empty beer keg things mini kegs and then i sold a pair of croc shoes that i found there for a dollar 50 no 250 and then i found some donald pliner flats for a dollar 50 and now i can show you the items that i didn't list because like i said i'm in a funk right now and i don't want to do anything i found this vintage express blazer and this is so beautiful absolutely stunning it has like um, a herringbone pattern with different colors and um, it's a size large. It's buttons, pockets, and the materials of this are wool, 100% wool, the outer layer, and the collar area here, it's leather, and the lining is rayon. So I'm really hoping to get... 30 to 35 for this because it is such a really nice piece and it definitely gave me some academia vibes from it the other item that i am really excited about main reason i haven't listened to this yet is because i've been kind of tempted to keep it but i don't need it don't need it i found this beautiful dooney and burke all leather little crossbody bag this is in just really, really good condition. The only wear is to, there's a little bit of patina to the lock, but it does come with a key inside here and it has a really nice little charm there. And the interior, really nice interior as well clean like it was really well taken care of and you're not gonna guess how much i paid for this I paid seven dollars and fifty cents for this gorgeous dooney and burke bag i'm really hoping to get like i haven't looked up comps or anything but i'm hoping to get like eighty dollars for this it's been a while since i found dooney and burke so i could be a little off on my estimate on how much i should get for it but with the condition and color i think i can probably get around 80 dollars for it moving on to the thrift store items they were having a dollar on all their shoes and clothing so i found some items to resell these are just such a good seller for me they sell really quick oh uh, these are j jill these are just the pull-on pant Recently I found some at a garage sale that I paid I think like 30 something cents for but they sold on eBay recently. They were the white ones. You can find that in my garage sale thrift haul which I'll put, put over in this corner or one of these corners uh, if you want to watch that haul. But 
uh, yeah, they sold, I think, for $18. And those are the cropped ones. So I'm hoping to get a little bit more for these. Those are a good seller for me. Not a huge money maker, but I only paid a dollar for it. Here we have a Lacoste Polo. Bright green. And yeah, it's been a while since I've sold this brand. So I just wanted to see how well it was doing. And I don't know the size. I think it's a large, but I don't know. <laughs> then my friend threw me a few cabby items. I like selling this brand. I don't get a ton for it, but it's usually a pretty quick flip, especially a newer label cabby. Here's another one. I definitely am not going to get very much for these items because they are a smaller size. I tend to do better with the larger size cabbies, so I will definitely price these to sell <laughs> and hope that they sell quick. And then I found this Kimmy and Kin, which is an anthropology brand. I don't pick up anthro all the time because it just does not sell well anymore. I did go ahead and grab this for a dollar. It's a nice little soft oversized shirt. And I think somebody may have tied it in the front. I gotta look up the stock photo to see if that is intentional or what. Yeah, it's a rayon spandex blend. It is a size medium. It's very like oversized and very stretchy. And then I think this might be the first time I've ever found this. This is Free People Movement. I don't think I've ever found Free People Movement. And these are a size medium. And they are some very interesting pants. <laughs> uh, yeah, they have like some grid print to them and zippers and they are very lightweight. Uh, yeah, so I went ahead and grabbed them for a dollar. I don't know how much I'll get for those. Probably not a lot because Free People is not a solid seller for me anymore. And then my last item that I found at the thrift store. I found two new in package uh, little Ikea pillowcases and they were $2 each. So I did pay $2, $4 for these. This one is opened, but I'm pretty sure it's not like used or anything because of how it's folded so nicely in there and i think i saw those selling on ebay for around 19 to 20 ish dollars so i'm hoping to get those for that that is everything that i found this past weekend weekend slash week haven't really been able to go sourcing much this weekend so i have a little bit of something and i've been surviving off of inventory that I don't really want to list so I you know I save it and I put it in a pile to list when I need stuff to list so I've been going through that stash so I have hardly anything to list these days and I'm really excited because my sister-in-law two of my sister-in-laws sister-in-law sister-in-law I don't know uh two of my sisters they are giving me a couple suitcases full of stuff and I'm really excited and I think I'm gonna make a video out of it just so I can have some content to film. <laughs> and yeah, I'm really excited to get those items. Um, yeah, one of my sisters just graduated from med school so she is moving and so she's getting rid of some stuff too. So very, very grateful for family and friends that give me items to sell online. It really does mean a lot to me and it helps put my son through a private education. So that's really, really nice. So I'm going to go pull my sales, a few sales, and uh, I'll show you what's sold and how much it sold for, you know, that whole shebang. So let's go get my sales.
right, I'm actually going to show you some of the items that sold. Well, all the items that sold because it's not very many. All right, so starting with eBay because I only have one. I apologize if this angle is not a good one, but so I found a local auction place that runs auctions every week and this was one of the items that he had up for sale and this sold for $80 which is awesome but unfortunately I paid $30 for it which was probably really stupid but comps were from they were selling for $150 and I did not know that this was used because he said it was new so Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a new price for it because it is, I think, used, but whatever. I still made a little bit of profit and it maybe took like a week to sell. Moving on to Poshmark. I'm not going to be able to show you everything because everything is wrapped, but I sold this American Eagle t-shirt. I need to get my phone out because I don't know how much these things sold for. Yeah, I sold this American Eagle short sleeve top for $15. And then I sold this diaper bag, which is great because I found this at the bins. And this one sold for $20. So I need to find a box to put this in. Then I sold something that has been probably sitting in my closet for a good three years. I sold this J. Crew fruit embroidered cardigan for $17. And my last sale to pack up, <laughs> I sold these Fabletics Power Hold shorts with a retro floral print and I found those at the bins in Texas when I was on vacation and those sold for $15. So I'm going to go ahead and get these items packed up. It didn't take me too long. <laughs> I unfortunately lost about $1.56 on shipping because I did not charge enough. One of the fun perks of selling on eBay. Sometimes you make money on shipping and sometimes you don't. Okay, that is everything that I am doing in terms of reselling work today. I also forgot to mention that I had some pretty wild uh, eBay experiences the past couple of weeks and I think that also contributed to my slump. I don't know how this happened or how I did this because I literally only had two sales on eBay to ship out and I swapped the labels. Now I have done this one time on Poshmark. It's the better platform to do that on <laughs> because with eBay, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what to do uh, so essentially what I did I had them send the stuff back to me and one person still has not sent back the item so I don't know if she's gonna plan on keeping it or what I don't know uh, so but thank goodness they were very understanding about my mistake and once I get both the items back I am just gonna send them out to them for free just for the hassle so that was a huge bummer a mistake on my part. Very disappointed. <laughs> I'm not even sure how I do that because eBay is shipping is a lot better than Poshmark because they go in order and Poshmark doesn't always go in order when you print the labels, bulk print. So, yep, that was a huge oopsie on my part. And then another annoying thing on eBay happened. Um, 
I got an overturn on a $70 purse that I sold and she told me a group on Facebook said that this item was not authentic and I sold a coach bucket bag. Um, I did include a picture of the serial <laughs> number on the bag and I wasn't sure if it was authentic or not. I mean, it looked pretty legit to me and it's not like one of those in your face coach, like it screams coach bag. So I put it up for sale and somebody bought it. And I don't know why they couldn't take the picture that I had on my listing before buying the item. Uh, she could have, you know, asked her Facebook group about it. And so, yeah. Uh, that was a bummer because that was a big sale and I guess I'll just keep the bag. I don't even know if it's like if, if it is true authentic or if it's not authentic. Either way, it doesn't even look like a coach bag. <laughs> so yeah, just a lot of <laughs> negative things happening for reselling for me. And um, I did have another lady reach out about the bag saying that she really wanted it. If the sale didn't go through, then she would buy it. But I'm going to reach out to her uh, tomorrow once I pick up the bag from the post office. Um, I'm going to let her know that this lady said it wasn't an authentic item, but if she still wanted to buy it, she could. But just keep in mind that it's probably not going to be authentic. So yeah, it's kind of a bummer. And I don't know how to go about authenticating a coach bag like I don't know <laughs> quite honestly I just want to be over it and I'll probably just keep the bag for myself because it is a really really cute bag and it's in my favorite color green so I might just end up keeping it honestly but that's gonna do it for me on this video sorry it was such like a negative sad <laughs> video but you know reselling is not all rainbows and butterflies and unicorns <laughs> Like, it is really hard. I'm not going to give up, even though it sounds like I'm giving up, but I'm not going to. I'm just, just ranting about the negative parts of reselling because it's so easy and more fun to share the positive side of reselling. Hopefully, the economy turns around, but I don't see it happening. So I'm just going to have a mindset that my sales are going to continue in this direction and they're not going to change. People are struggling. And it's a sad, sad time right now. I'm going to end this video. I'm going to go spend some time with my husband and just forget about reselling for a little bit. And yeah, we got lots of things to do this week. It's my son's last week of school. He'll be in third grade after this. So that's always exciting. And we have some stuff planned for summer. So I'm going to be busy on top of that. So yeah. All right, well, thank you so much for watching and hopefully this video was entertaining or helpful in any way. Let me know down below how your sales have been and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.